Welcome to this crochet cow tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this adorable sitting cow plushie. Let's get straight into it. The written pattern is available in the link in the description. So the materials that you will need are a five millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, scissors, 12 millimeter safety eyes. You will need chunky yarn, white for your primary color, and then another color for your secondary color. And then finally toffee for the horns. And then finally you will need some stuffing. So we're going to begin by grabbing our white yarn for the head. You'll also need to get your secondary color ready. So during this pattern, white will be referred to as A and your secondary color will be referred to as B. So we're going to begin by doing six single crochets into the magic ring. So first you'll make your magic ring. I use the two chain method. So to do that, I'll do a slip knot. And then I will chain two. And then I will do my six single crochets into the first chain. So that will act as our magic ring. So for the next round, we're going to do six increases. So an increase is doing two single crochets into one stitch. This will take us up to 12 stitches. After this round, we will be switching to blue. So I'm on my final stitch and I've just pulled through for the last single crochet and I'm going to grab my secondary color and finish off that single crochet in my secondary color and then I will tie it to the white yarn. So for round three in B we will do single crochet increase and then in A we will do single crochet increase times by five. At the end of this round, we will switch back to blue again. For round four, we will do two single crochets and an increase in B, and then two single crochets and an increase times by five in A. Now we will switch back to B once again. And for this round, we are going to do four single crochets in B and then 20 single crochets in A. And we will not switch back to blue at the end of this round. We will keep going in A. For round six, we are going to do nine single crochets in A, then two single crochets in B, 
and then 13 single crochets in A to finish off. For round 7, we will do 8 single crochets in A, then 4 single crochets in B, and then 12 single crochets in A. For round eight, we're going to do the exact same thing as the last round. For round 9, we will do 9 single crochets in A, 2 single crochets in B, and then 13 single crochets in A. And after this round, we can cut our secondary colour off. Now for round 10, we will two single crochets decrease times by six, which will take us down to 18 stitches. Now we're going to put our safety eyes in. So the safety eyes should go between rounds 8 and 9 and the right eye should be in the patch that we have here and the left eye should be below the top patch up here. So I'm just going to clip those in now. And now we can continue round. For the final round we'll just do single crochet decrease times by 6 which will take us down to 12 stitches. So now we need to leave a tail for sewing.
And then once we've done that, we'll just finish off and pull through. And now I'm just gonna stuff the head. Now we can put that aside and move on to the front legs. Okay, so now we're gonna start the front legs. So we're gonna wanna grab our secondary color and we're going to begin by doing six single crochets into the magic ring. Then for round two, we are going to do two single crochets and an increase times by two. And at the end of this round, we will switch over to white. So I've gone ahead and I've just cut the blue yarn off as well. Now from rounds three to five, we will just single crochet round with the white yarn. So we'll just be single crocheting for three rounds. So once we've done that, we can just leave a small tail. We don't need to sew this on because they'll be crocheted into the body. We'll pull through and we'll just tuck the tail inside. So now you'll just need to make another leg exactly like this and then we'll be able to move on to the body. So once you've made your two legs, we're just gonna pop them to the side and we're gonna grab our white yarn to begin on the body. So for round one of the body, we will do six single crochets into the magic ring. Then for round two, we will do six increases. I'm just using scrap yarn as my stitch marker. For round three, we will just do single crochet increase times by six, which will take us up to 18 stitches. Now for rounds four to six, we're just going to single crochet round. So we're gonna single crochet for three rounds.
So at this point, we are going to grab our two front legs. So when we're single crocheting these on, we wanna make sure that the part where the color changes is at the back. So I'm gonna grab my first leg and I'm just looking at it and I'm gonna make sure the color is facing the back. We're gonna grab our hook with this still on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook through two of the stitches in the leg. So we've sort of folded it in half and we're going through the first two stitches here. And then we're gonna to get to the body and we're gonna put our hook through just the following stitch that we would have gone into. So right now I have my hook through three stitches. So two from the leg where it's folded in half and the next one from the body. And we're just gonna single crochet through all of those at once. So single crochet. Then we're going to go into the next two stitches of the leg. So it's still folded in half. And then the next stitch of the body and single crochet. Then we'll go into the next stitch of the leg, next stitch of the body, single crochet. And then the final two stitches of the leg and the next stitch of the body, single crochet. So you can see we've crocheted the first leg on here. Now we're gonna grab our second leg. We're gonna go into the first two stitches again, once folded in half. And then we're going to the next stitch of the body and single crochet through all three. And then we're also gonna do this for the next three stitches of the leg and body. So now that those are crocheted on, we're just going to continue around and do 10 single crochets just into the body. So now for the next round, we're going to do single crochet decrease times by six. This will take us down to 12 stitches and we're just going around as if we're just crocheting normally. So don't worry about the legs anymore. And now for the final round, we are just going to single crochet around. So at this point, your front legs might be sticking out a little bit. So we're gonna finish off and leave a little tail to sew them down. So we'll pull through and I'm just gonna add a little bit of stuffing first. So now we're gonna grab the tail and our yarn needle. And I'm just gonna bring the tail down to the body below the front leg. So about to here. And once you're at that point, I'm just gonna sew into the front leg in the white. So I'm sort of attaching the leg better to the body just so it stays down. So I'll do it with the other one as well. So I'm just going into the leg and ensuring that it stays down.
So this is what it should look like once you've sewed them down. And I'm just gonna bring the tail back out the other side. And I'll just leave it in the body. So this is what the body should look like once it's complete. So now we're gonna move on to the back legs. So you're gonna grab your blue yarn and we're gonna begin by doing six single crochets into the magic ring. Now for round two, you're going to do two single crochets and an increase times by two, which will take us up to eight stitches. And after this round, you'll need to switch to white. So I've just cut off the blue yarn since we don't need it anymore. And now we're going to single crochet for two rounds straight. Then once you've done that, you're gonna to need to leave a bit of a tail for sewing. And then we'll pull through. And now you'll just need to make one more back leg exactly like this. So now that you've made two back legs, we are going to put those aside. Thank you for watching part one of this tutorial. Make sure to go watch part two, which is in the link in the description if you want to continue making your cow.